Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week, Microsoft rolled out their latest Insider preview build to the Dev Channel Insiders, build 23601. And this is quite a major update. There's quite a lot going on in last week's Dev Channel build. So if you are interested, just have a quick look at what's new in build 23601. Now, Microsoft is working on a good couple of new features to better integrate the Windows 365 Cloud PC and your local PC, where there are a good couple of new features and improvements for Windows 365 boot. And just to have a look at some of these, where the first is they are now launching a new mode for 365 boot called Dedicated Mode, where you can now boot to your Windows 365 Cloud PC from your designated company-owned device, which means you will now be able to log into your 365 Cloud PC from Windows 11 logging screen using passwordless authentication methods like Windows Hello for business. And then moving on to the next is they've now customized the company logo and name for Windows 365 boot where in shared mode, organizations can now customize the login page to include their company branding from Intune. Then moving on to another one is you no longer need to wait for the sign-in now to process to the cloud PC to complete only to find out Windows 365 boot failed due to network issues or incomplete setup with this new fail-fast mechanism which Microsoft is now testing for Windows 365 boot. So Microsoft says basically the smart logic proactively informs you to resolve network issues or complete app setup so you can experience a smooth login to your cloud PC. And then moving on to another one is, as mentioned, they are better integrating the cloud PC with your local PC where um, you can now manage local PC settings through Windows 365 boot. With this feature, um, they say it's e it is now easier for you to access and manage sound, display, and other device-specific settings of your PC directly from your cloud PC, as we can see. So a lot of improvements um, trying to integrate cloud and local PC which we have been talking about on the channel, which we are expecting to see roll out in future Windows versions. And then moving on to the next, uh, this is uh, improvements for um, Windows 365 Switch. And I do apologize for the quality of this screenshot, but nonetheless, you'll get the general idea. So you can now disconnect from your cloud PC, Microsoft says, directly from um, your local PC. This can be done by going to the local PC task view, right-click on the cloud PC button and click disconnect. They've also added tooltips on disconnect and sign out options in the Cloud PC start menu so that you can also differentiate between these functionalities. And there's something else you can also do now is you will also now see the term Cloud PC and Local PC on the desktop indicator when you switch between your respective PCs and you'll also see updates regarding the Cloud PC connection status and the connection timeout indicator while waiting on the connection screen. And this is just a... Uh, image of that just to give you the general idea. So as mentioned, quite a lot going on uh, integrating Cloud PC and your local PC, which we are expecting to roll out in future Windows versions. Now the next is they are improving discoverability of screencasting in Windows 11. So Microsoft says, first of all, when doing multitasking activities on your PC, and um, that's like tasks like often switching between Windows to complete a task, or using Snap Assist to organize your screen space, they will provide the suggestion to cast via a notification toast. And the, this screenshot we're looking at here is they have updated the cast flyout in quick settings with additional support uh, in case you face any trouble discovering nearby displays, fixing connections, and so on. And um, that's just a screenshot to give us a general idea. And this next one was a hidden feature and is now starting to roll out, like some of these hidden features do. And it's the new widget board settings, which I think a lot of users, including myself, are going to be happy to see because one of the new settings enables you to just show widgets on your widgets board and another, and another makes it easier for you to discover how to personalize your feed. And this means that you will now be able to hide your news feed and just show your widgets, which I think it will be a nice move. And I certainly hope that rolls out sooner than later to the stable version. Now, the next is regarding Copilot for Windows 11's desktop where they are now trying out and testing the ability to undock Copilot in Windows. Now, I'm going to move over just to demonstrate for this, um, this new improvement. I'm going to head over to Edge Canary because this will give you a very good idea as more or less what this undock for Copilot for the desktop is all about. 
And if we just open up and launch Copilot in Edge Canary, yeah, you can see um, in this early preview version, they are trying out a feature, unpin, unpin side panel and pin and pin side panel, which is a very similar feature. So this will give you a good idea. So if um, our pin side panel, you can see now I can minimize and this now becomes its own widget on the desktop and we can even resize that and to our own personal choice and preference and then we can unpin side panel. So that just gives you a general idea as to what this um, new feature is all about regarding Windows 11's uh, Copilot for the desktop and that was just demonstrating um, just to give you a general idea. Then moving on to the next, Windows Share has received quite a, a nice improvement, I think, where it now supports sharing with WhatsApp under the Share Using section. So if you don't have WhatsApp installed, you can now choose to install it from Windows Share, Windows Directly, as we can see. You've got this little install option. And over time, Microsoft says they plan to try this experience out with other apps as well. And I actually think this is a nice move in the right direction. And then sticking with nearby sharing, if we head to the next, they are introducing the ability to quickly give your device a more friendly name to identify sharing to and from with nearby share under setting system nearby sharing, as we can see. And then over and above those new improvements, um, we do get a good couple of fixes because it is still early days in the dev channel. And also because it is early days, there are um, a couple of known issues which is expected. And then over and above that, um, there's a Notepad update which I have posted on and I'll leave that uh, video down below because I did a whole separate video on the Notepad update. But we also get a Microsoft Store update where there's now a feature called Install as you browse. So you can now install directly while browsing, which I think is a nice move. So Microsoft says basically you just simply browse through the store's home apps or games pages and hover over a product as we can see and click the install button and there are now fewer clicks to dive into new apps. And then we also get improved discoverability of instant games and better performance while browsing in the Microsoft Store. So as mentioned, quite a lot gained on um, last week in the dev channel with build 23601. And as mentioned, a lot of cloud PC improvements and quite a major update that did roll out. And that's more or less what's new in that latest dev channel inside a build. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.